Let's take a look at this out of bounds play in which the Jazz are defending against the Timberwolves. The play is designed for Jamal Crawford right here being guarded by Joe Ingles. And the screens are going to be here. And the question is how much of a moving screen will the referees let you get away with in the NBA? And let's look at it in real speed here. Okay, so Towns is the primary screener here. And you'll see that he does move almost right up until the very end here. And that creates a great deal of separation for Crawford ends up with a wide open shot. So you can move, um, but you do have to give the defender a chance to avoid you. Now, had Inglaze run straight into him, maybe he would have gotten uh, the call. But Inglaze ran around, as we'll see one more time. By running around, Inglaze relieved the uh, referee of the responsibility to call anything. What he probably should have done is run straight into Carl Anthony Towns. Again, the final, this is a one quarter speed. There's the first screen, clearly legal. Second one. Again, Inglaze moves around it. Had he run into Carl Anthony Towns' hip and went sprawling to the floor, I think we would have seen a call. But he didn't.